I'm back here at St. Marker in Phuket Town to finish off the video that I started on Wednesday. It's actually now night time and I'm back here for the street food. There's a rather large street food market that sets up at about 5 o'clock here with a huge variety of authentic Thai cuisine available. It's a great place to eat cheap while you're in Phuket and it's a great place to try some real Thai food. Without any further ado, let's jump back to the morning time at this market. There'll be a video from tonight coming soon. But here's the rest of the video of the fresh food that's available during the day. In my previous video I've been exploring some of the cooked foods that are available at this market early morning and mixing with the friendly locals. There's heaps of different food available. All sorts of curries here. Different types of breakfast soups. And I've got myself a Thai breakfast of the rice porridge jolk, some grilled pork and sticky rice, a type of Thai sausage, say ua, some sort of barbecued fish parcel, and also a Thai iced tea. I then decided to go for a walk, and I started at the seafood section. There's a huge variety of fresh seafood available here, as well as a whole range of other things mixed in amongst it. The bags of a type of seaweed, Muscle meat at the front and chili paste and dipping sauces there. And it's all very fresh. So these sea stars are actually extremely fresh. They're crawling around in their tray. A bit further in there were all sorts of fish with Phuket being an island there's a huge assortment of seafood available there crabs Even stingrays under the table. There's also pre cooked fish. Live catfish. Snakehead fish, which are very tasty. Chopped catfish, frogs, and quails at the back. Loads of prawns, all different sizes for different prices. Some big tiger prawns. Different types of cockles and clams. Oysters at the front and mussels at the back. The shop was very unusual. It seemed to be a mix of pet shop and seafood shop. And eels and turtles. Different sized frogs and heaps of little fish that appeared to be aquarium fish. Another big bag of frogs. A bit further in was the prawn section. Ah, 
Loads of different sized prawns. And quite a few people peeling prawns in this area. Oh, a whole of chopped fish, fish heads. There's also a big undercover seafood section in the main part of the market. You're going to have a huge variety of seafood products available, squid, lobsters, half kilo, uh, yeah, 650 baht for that one, wow, good. This lady seemed convinced that when I saw how cheap they were, I'd actually buy one. Thank you. Uh, look very nice though. Unfortunately, I had no way of keeping it cold, but they were the best priced lobsters that I saw in Phuket. More crabs and oysters. You're definitely in for an interesting walk at markets like these. And this one's where a lot of the restaurants and hotels would buy their seafood in Phuket. There's also a big meat section bordering the seafood area. Lots of beef, liver and different cuts and all sorts of innards. Try it. Big bag and bucket of blood. More innards. And there's a big mix of different types of shops interspersed. And the shop had plastic bags. There's also an assortment of pork bits available. Even pork heads. Tasty looking ribs. Pork belly and other cuts of pork. Tails and trotters. And everywhere you look, there's lots of busy people chopping things up. sure what those bits were. It's also a big poultry section with chopped chickens. These yellow chickens are apparently that colour because of the process they use to remove the feathers partly cooks the chicken. Again you'll find all parts of the chicken available here. Guys working here will clean a chicken pretty quickly. Right 
delicacy chicken feet, wings, and you can buy your chicken with both the wings and feet still attached if you want. There's also masses of Thai vegetables available. Kaffir lime leaves used for cooking, and a lot of these are eaten raw. Thai holy basil at the front. And these ones are eaten with the Thai noodle dish, Kanong Jin. Thai eggplants and cucumbers. bit of gourd and other types of gourd there another type of Thai eggplant ginger, galangal there's also lots of western style vegetables more gourds and potatoes eggplants and carrots and onions Loads of cucumbers and peppers, baby corn, long beans, and more Thai leafy vegetables. You'll also find all sorts of pickled vegetables. These are often eaten as sides or mixed through with other dishes. Curry paste at the back. And coconut pulp. In this area too, pretty much everywhere you look, there were people chopping and dicing vegetables. The variety of foods here is really impressive. This guy had some really tasty looking curry pastes. Different colours for different styles of curries. This shop appeared to be very popular. When you're in Thailand at 8 o'clock in the morning and 6 o'clock at night in public places, the national anthem is played and everyone stops what they're doing and stands still as a sign of respect. As soon as it finishes though, it's back to business as usual. This lady was making Thai coconut puddings, cannot crop. They are very tasty. Outside of the market on the road there's another big section with everything from fruit to dried products. Lots of different types of dried fish. Even dried mushrooms. Lots more Thai vegetables and banana flowers there which are often used in cooking. Baby mangoes, dog fruit. Loads of chilies, papaya and other cooking ingredients. Big bamboo shoots, stink beans and little Thai eggplants, barbecued and dried fish. Chinese style sausages. More bamboo and leafy vegetables. There's also plenty of fruits, rose apples, and dragon fruit at the back, grapes, cotton fruit, something I tried for the first time in a video recently. Mandarins and Thai oranges, guavas at the front. Longans and custard apples at the back. Some type of jackfruit and durian. 
Asian pears. And you can get a lot of different types of fruit already cleaned and prepared and ready to eat. Shop had all sorts of brown and wild rice. And you can get yourself blessed by a Thai Buddhist monk while you're there. Thai lottery tickets. More fish. And steamed sticky rice wrapped in banana leaves. not sure exactly what this fruit is. One of my students gave it to me recently and it was quite bitter. You can buy durian there, either whole or already cut. This guy had one of the best durian opening techniques I've seen. He made it look very easy. I love the smell of durian in the morning. <laughs> Once the fruit's taken out, it's put into a plastic container. Weighed and then it's ready for sale. There's also quite a few stalls selling prepared foods. These are a donut type thing called patangol. Also barbecued rice. And pieces of jackfruit at the front there. There are also some florist shops which sell Buddhist flower arrangements. These are hung in houses, cars and at temples to bring good luck. And a bit further in there's a clothing section. On denim and shirts and dresses, shoes. Most of the shops sell women's clothes as well as jewelry like pearls and other shells. Steamed vegetables, sweet potato, 
corn and peanuts. And they had little bags of clams and cockles on the end. So if you're in Phuket and you're interested in seeing how the locals live, do check this market out. It's a very interesting place. You'll find it close to the centre of Phuket town, on the corner of Tanon Ong Sim Pai and Soi Tilok Utik 2. You can also grab a tasty Thai breakfast while you're there. This is one of my favourite Thai soups, Gangjud. If you've enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. Thanks a lot for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.